Is Travis Kelsey the greatest of all time? Could be. He's definitely the greatest of our time right now. I think he has the potential to be the greatest of all time. But let's just get into some film and show why he's the greatest of our time and why nobody can stop him right now, especially why he's paired up with Pat Mahomes. So is Kelsey the greatest of all time or is he just the greatest of this time? That question begs to be answered. But right now, he's definitely the greatest of this time, but potentially to be the greatest of all time. Let's just take a look at this game where he had six catches and three touchdowns versus the Chargers. I got uh, five clips and we're going to talk about the different matchups and uh, just look at the different ways he gets open and just abuses all kinds of coverages. Uh, When you put a linebacker on, the linebackers are just too slow. This is um, number nine for the Chargers. Um, I forget his name. Came from Oklahoma. Kenneth Murray is his name. Just too slow. Just watch the, the spacing he gets, the the separation and Murray's not slow and the safety um, didn't really want to tackle you go back here and you kind of see uh, he gets the separation from Kenneth Murray uses the leverage against him he's trying to be strong over him. he just uses that that aggressiveness versus him and uh, Nasir Adderley really don't want to tackle just running beside Kelsey for some strange reason and Kelsey's not hard to tackle but Adderley just chooses not to tackle you can see him just running right beside him Probably talking to them, trying to see where they're going to eat dinner at tonight. Um, what club they're going to hit. You know, really just running beside him, talking to him. Trying to get his Instagram page. At least Murray, you know, attempt to tackle him. Adderley just walked beside him and chatted it up. But again, this is where he really strives at, in the red zone. And it's, it's crazy. Because they do wide receiver stuff for him. This is just a key screen. And you see the blocking right there. You're going to get, a you know, the man on the line of scrimmage. It's going to take the man on the line of scrimmage. So you're going to get, and I draw it up for you right there. If the man on is going to take the man on, the, the point man. And the guy that's off is going to kind of come flat and work the first thing outside of that initial block. And then Kelsey just got to find the, the spot. And initially, he's going to kind of run into the back of the guy that's blocking. And it's up to this guy here to fight through the trash. This guy, meaning this cat right here, he got to fight through the trash. He kind of gets caught up because he's going to be the free guy to try to get through and get to Kelsey, and he gets caught in the trash. And you see, you just see Kelsey fight through it. So he gets, he runs into the back of it, and that allows that guy to just get caught in the wash. And so two good blocks by both those receivers out there. And then you get Travis primetime Kelsey. And we know Kelsey's built different. He moves different. He dances different. He just different. <laughs> and I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> when when I saw Kelsey do the stanky leg, I knew I knew he moved different. And his stanky leg looked different. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it at that. But again, and another thing I want you to notice, and it's me being petty. Nasir Adderley wouldn't hit Kelsey, but he'll hit this football. That's crazy to me. You wouldn't hit Kelsey on the last play, but you'll hit this football. Mm. Mm. But again, great tight ends do these three things. Work the middle of the field, have great hands, and have yak ability. Kelsey's going to display all three of those things on this play right here. All three of them in the works. At the top of your screen, tight formation. Don't come on a little drag route. Work in the middle of the field. Tight coverage. Tight coverage. Great hands. Because he almost got a hand of that. I think that's a Sunday Samuel. That's a little Sunday Samuel. Again, work him. And look who not tackling again. Nasir Adley. Again, he'll hit the football, but he won't tackle Kelsey. Won't tackle Kelsey. Mm. Sad, sad, sad. And look where Kelsey ends up. In the end zone. In the end zone. But again, not enough about Nasir Adley. But again, working in the middle of the field. With the cornerback on him this time now. You saw him with a linebacker who couldn't cover him. You saw um, Nasir Adley wouldn't tackle him. You saw them running a little key screen to him. And he, you know, made the safety try to fight through coverage and get him. But so now they just decided to put a cornerback on him. So everybody else couldn't cover him. Let's put an actual corner on him who specializes in cover. And does a good job. That's great coverage by Ad- uh, not Adley. 
by something saying Asante Samuel. He just kills his better. And again, I go back to the same analogy with Steph Curry. You can play great defense, but great offense is going to beat it every time. If you got great offense, it can be great defense. That's great defense by Asante Samuel. Kelsey just has better concentration. And he don't catch the ball initially. It rolls up his arm and he just has great focus. Now he catch, now he catches it off the carom. Then he gets he has yak ability. Makes Adderley miss. Gets in the end zone. It's the second of his three touchdowns. The second of his three. Let's go to the next play. Tight formation again. And this is man to man versus Asante again. Still ain't work. Now, nah, right there. Asante's right in his hip pocket. Watch the separation. Look at that. That's three yards just that quick. So, again, putting him in coverage versus man to man with the cornerback, not going to work. Not going to work. He gets open versus uh, versus linebackers, versus corners. And again, so you think about it. The Chargers really have the ultimate weapon. The Chargers really, and I'll show it to you. The Chargers really have the ultimate weapon sitting right here. This, I don't know why I did. I hit the wrong button. Hold on. The Chargers really have the ultimate weapon sitting right there. Why not use him on it? Why not? All right, let's see it. There it is. One-on-one versus All-Pro. Derwin James. Asante Samuel didn't work. The linebacker, uh, Kenny Murray, didn't work. Let's see what Derwin James can do versus. Derwin James is big, strong. I'll even give you a quick Derwin James story. When I first moved to uh, Tallahassee, I went to a Florida State practice. Young cat out there um, went one-on-ones versus everybody. Like, he was covering tight ends, receivers, running backs. And I don't mean, like, He'll go and then somebody else, a couple people will go then he'll go back. I mean, this dude was going back to back to back to back to back and locking down everybody. Lo and behold, I didn't know who it was at the time, but it was Derwin James. Locking everybody down. Receivers, running backs, tight ends. So now, Kelsey one-on-one. All pro. Let's see what we got. Drag, lit mesh. Now, the mesh concept helps. It helps. It really does. But before they even get to the mesh concept, look at the separation Kelsey already has versus Derwin. And just finish it off with a missed tackle. Kels is a bad man, no matter who you put on him. Man to man, it, do, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And they make you play man to man. They make you play man to man because they do so much stuff. You play in zone, Pat Mahomes will pick you apart. So you got to play man. And he got guys that can get open, got the ultimate guy that can get open in, in Travis Kelsey. And that's why they beat you so good. Because you play zone, Pat Mahomes kills you. You play man, Travis Kelsey kills you. So, is he the, the greatest tight end of all times? That's yet to be seen. But he is definitely the greatest tight end in the game right now. And this is just a small sample size of what Travis Kelsey can do to you. I appreciate you for coming through with more Sip the Tally. And again, we're over here. We're for the streets. And we're going to keep this train rolling. So, I appreciate everybody for the support. Thank you for coming out. Be blessed. Tell somebody you love them. Peace.